It is the Flow Friday Night Sports Show and a long wait ahead of the crew at Own United as they prepare for their premiership defence. Might be the longest premiership defence in the history of sports, this one, I reckon. But uh, the Own United girls are ready and raring to go. They've got a bit of time to wait before their first official match in anger. And joining me on the line, the head kangaroo is back. Caitlin Vine, how are you? I'm back. It's been a, a hot minute. It has been uh, it has been a very hot minute or two uh, through the summer. How was your summer? Yeah, really good. Uh, it was nice to, to have a break. We actually um, sort of kept the season rolling until nearly November with um, having our vote count in November, I think it was, by the time we did all of that stuff. So it feels like we haven't had that much of a break, but um, we're back into it and, uh, yeah, excited. So a uh, fairly long pre-season, this one. We'll explain as to why. Uh, we heard from the, the footy guru uh, earlier on, Andrew Wilsmore, explained the situation with uh, the split round and then the, uh, the the Kangas having the round one bye. So uh, you've got a couple of more weeks to wait before you hit the court in anger. But funnily enough, you've already played a couple of games in a pre-season carnival, haven't you? Yeah, we have. So uh, the SFNL puts on a pre-season cup every year. Um the last couple of years, it's looked a little different, but I think it's worked well. Uh, we came up against South Mildura last Saturday um, and played uh, a four-quarter game, but we had rolling subs. So it mm. kind of mixes a little bit of um, well, fast five netball into it. So uh, that was really fun. We had a good mix of girls, a few juniors coming up to have a crack. Um, and, yeah, we had a lot of fun. It was probably not the best netball to watch, but, um, yeah, it was a good time. Uh, the only people busier than the players on the court were probably the hydration officers off of it, although these days you've got to bring your own water bottle, don't you? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it was a warm day. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, it was good. It was good to get uh, everyone back there and get the vibes, get in the gear and, and um, try and get ready. As you said, with the, the few rounds, um, we've got the split round and the buy. So everyone else is really ready to go and we're still kind of easing into it, getting organised. So. Yeah, it's got to make it tough. It's almost like a case you've had to do the pre-season before the pre-season comp and then come out of the pre-season comp and do another pre-season before round one. It's very strange. It is strange. It does feel a bit weird. Um, we're, we're sort of eager to go and, and just sort of waiting around. But it is a it is a benefit, I guess. We get a few weeks more to um, settle our teams in and work on a few things before we, we hit round one, which will be a big hit out, I'm sure. Absolutely. Well, um, let's have a look at the whole club. Uh, how, how are things looking and shaping up across the club? Numbers-wise, how are the juniors looking? How have you guys been going through the preseason? Yeah, so this year feels a lot different to uh, last year. Everyone just seems really settled um, and really calm heading into the season. We've got okay numbers. Um, we've, we've lost a couple, but we've also gained a couple, which is exciting. Um, our, our main focus this year is on our juniors. I think they've had two years of um, important netball time and uh, just general exercise sport time that they've missed out um, over the past two seasons. So we're really focusing on growing um, and developing our juniors. We've already had um, a big clinic run by our, our development officer on Sunday, Kat Brown, which was amazing. We had, um, oh, I think, over 30 girls that rocked up and did a full day of training and um, injury prevention and nutrition and, and just general netball. And that was amazing to see um, the girls in that. And also seeing a lot of juniors step up to seniors this year, which is really exciting. That's a, a, it's a really good point. It's something that um, all competitions, I guess, are wrestling with at the moment and all sports, not just netball, but... Uh, you know, for that, uh, that that group that would have been coming through their last couple of years of junior football or, or netball in this case, you know, that 15, 16, 17-year-old age bracket, they've almost lost the better part of two years in development, haven't they? Uh, you know, coaching and playing and or being coached and playing and, um, you know, perhaps coming through the ranks and maybe playing a bit of senior netball at a young young age. They, they've kind of missed out on, on two years of that, haven't they? Absolutely. And I think it's really tough when you think about um, most of our A-grade players back in the Mali League. They would have started playing senior netball at 13 or 14 and mm. some of them were playing A-grade at 15. So, uh, you know, we've had a lot more experience in that senior tougher netball whereas um, unfortunately these guys have sort of missed that key time to um, to experience that so you know they might be a little bit behind but we're working really hard to to push their skills and they're already flourishing which is amazing 
Netball Victoria doing anything to help uh, or is it just being left to the local competitions like it normally is? But uh, have they committed to sending anyone up to do, run some clinics or, or do anything like that that you're aware of? Uh, I don't know if Netball Victoria specifically has been, um, you know, have pushed anything, but there's certainly lots of things available, which is um, awesome. I know Netfit um, are doing a lot of things and I think we've got a, a clinic in the pipeline with them, which will be really good. Oh, that's good. So junior numbers are pretty solid across the grade. So you'll have, will you have the full quota in the juniors? Yeah, at this stage we'll have the full quota, which is, um, which is the, probably the first time in a while. So mm. it's good to see um, we're starting to fill up, fill up the numbers. I think the boys, unfortunately, are struggling a little bit more. Everyone must have had girls one <laughs> year instead of boys. Um, but yeah, it's it's really good to see the numbers filling out and. Um, and keeping local people keen. Right. Caitlin, what's the plan from here? Uh, you mentioned uh, April 30th is your first game in in anger. Um, that will be your round one, but got the split round in the meantime. April 15th is when the comp gets going, and then again they'll be playing uh, on Anzac Day weekend. Uh, I don't think there's an Anzac Day game there in Sunraysia, is there? No, not an actual game. Um, mm. All the games that we played on the 23rd, but... Yeah, look, from now, um, we're just solidifying our teams. Um, we're really excited to have kept Casey uh, K, Casey Crothers, I should say, and Kyra Nathan in our A-grade coaches, um, and they'll also be taking on B-grade as we say goodbye to Lyndall. Um, but really excited to have a few young girls in the CC res coaching uh, with Lucy, Maddie and Zoe. So um, I think just for them, they're just trying to wrap their heads around this new job. And, um, yeah, we're just really trying to solidify uh, our teams and, and really work hard. I think if we can have a couple of good hit up, hit out in our club over the next few weeks, um, we'll go into round two against Wentworth pretty strong. We'll leave it there for this week. Uh, next week, we'll have a bit of a look at uh, some of the other clubs around the place and w- what you've heard. Rumours, we'll, we'll play the rumour game next week. As, uh, I'm sure you've got a few to tell us. Oh, absolutely. I think even from the pre-season uh, cup last weekend, just uh, everyone checking each other out, seeing who's fit, who's new, you know. Everyone was sort of sussing everyone out, which, uh, <laughs> you know, it's always a bit of healthy competition, which we love, so... Yeah, happy to play the rumour game next week. I'll uh, have to do some research. All right, I'll leave that with you. Question with notice for next week. Uh, Head Kanga, Caitlin Vine, great to chat to you again.